on the sway control, the cone or where the ball is, is cone shaped, and in that cone there's a sleeve, and that's your friction control, allows that to stop the swaying. But when it's really cold, the neoprene is cold, and so you'll hear it scraping on there, just like, you know, all the other weight distributing hitches will have a friction in the head or on the, on the bars. Howdy folks, Nathan Adlin here with the Fast Lane Truck, and I'm with... Andre Smirnoff. And, and Kent. That's right, Mr. Truck. And coming up next, we have something very special for you. Yep, we are rebooting the Ike Gauntlet. But why? Because we want to pack it with more data, more comparison. And here's the reason. Because we're doing the 2016 Gold Hitch Award. This is our second time doing it, and this vehicle is the first one to compete. That's right, what do we have here? We have the Chevy Silverado 2016 High Country with the 6.2 V8 8-speed automatic, top of the line. Awesome, very cool, and that is coming up next. Number one, yeah, Tom Frank Larry TFL number one. This is our test trailer. We've got it actually weighted to 9,000 pounds on our Logan Coach horse trailer. We've done that. We're going to do that for all the light duty tests we're doing. So we're consistent. We've got it hooked up with a weight distributing hitch. And for our weight inside, we have the water tote, about 2,500 pounds, and we've got four uh, 55 gallon drums of water. And we've actually balanced it. We've moved things back and forth, a few center blocks in the front compartment. So we're right at 900 pounds of tongue weight that we've already measured. So this is our test trader for all of our new light duty trucks. And this transmission, when they went to this new eight speed, I think they have the great shifting's marvelous on it. I put them forward in the same category and they have improved this a lot. And, and even with this weird axle ratio, this fuel mileage axle ratio, which is a 323, the RPMs aren't as high. Right. So it's not as good as if we had 342, the trader towing, I think we would be in a, you know, a little better control. So I remember them coming down this hill. And we're, we're coming down the hill with 9,000 pounds of trailer. And I'm hitting the brakes one last time, but we're not counting this one because we're getting off the highway. So altogether, 14 times, 14 times that I've applied the brakes from the Eisenhower Tunnel to down here. And I think under the circumstances, considering how much traffic there was and snow and everything else, that's pretty, uh, it's actually pretty damn decent. Okay, go. All right, I started the timer. We just crossed and we're merging onto the um, Ike Gauntlet highway all right we want to bring you guys more data and so the first talking point is power while we're accelerating to the speed limit correct well, you can hear the power <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it, no problem getting up to it's 60 here right yeah that's 62 it goes and it sounds great there we go so let me give you some numbers for comparison okay all right okay. and we're doing the big three you know the big best selling pickup trucks in the country well why are we not including toyota and nissan well, actually, it's kind of hard to do it all in the one video. We only have eight minutes. And we're talking about the big, big three best-selling trucks. Okay. okay. So let me give you some power. So the biggest engine, the most powerful engine on the F-150 is a 3.5 EcoBoost with 365 horsepower and 400 pounds feet of torque with a six-speed. And then the Ram, it's the 5.7 liter Hemi with 395 horsepower and 410 pound feet of torque. And of course, here we have the 6.2 V8, 420 horsepower, 460 pound-feet of torque, the most powerful engine in the class, right? That, that is correct. The biggest and the most powerful. Exactly. So let's talk about a little bit about transmissions and rear ends, right. because that's important. Yeah, this has the 323, which is a mile per gallon kind of rear end. Yeah, uh, efficient. The way your RPMs, yes. I, I love the 342, which is what your towing uh, rear end is. And their 8-speed, this is 8-speed, it's been out for a couple years now, but I like the gear spacing on this. You know, the Hemi is an 8-speed with a knob, and it has a very good gear, gear spacing also, but this one, to me, it feels like it hits the gears at the right RPMs better, much better than the 6-speed. But now, too, they both have a, a double overdrive, so you've actually got, you know, two, six gears of actual acceleration right. before you start saving fuel. So this one, to me, it just seems to shift the best, even though the ratios are so similar to Hemi. Well, i gotta be, I got to be honest with you guys. Being able to shift down into gear as opposed to turning a knob, I'd much prefer shifting down. I 
love this truck. I mean, this is this is a truck that you just feel good about. It just it accelerates when you want it to. I love it with a trailer, and you know, and then this is the right. I mean, you know, this is the right you want too. I'm gonna tell you right now, General Motors knows how to make a V8 sound really good. Oh, that's that was a little bit louder though in this in this case. Yeah, yeah. that's that's a bad oh, point. This is a luxury version. So yeah. let's talk about a little bit about MBGs. Okay. So these are the numbers for the top engines. You know, the most powerful engines for each truck. Okay. So the Ford F-150 MPGs from the EPA are 16 City 22 Highway. For the Ram, it's 15 City 22 Highway. And for the Silverado with the big engine, 15 City 21 Highway. So it's a little bit one MPG lower than the top engines in the competitors. Yeah, very close. Now this one has cylinder deactivation. Right. right, so it can knock it all the way down to four cylinders. Right, not right now. No, 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 not yeah. under stress. Yeah. Well, we noticed that when we were doing the MPG thing that we, we coasted into the gas station, even with that load, that trailer on it, it went into four cylinder deactivation. Really? In tow mode, which I didn't think it could do in tow mode, but it did at that time. Interesting, but under this type of stress, absolutely not. No, if using Kansas, we could probably go in and out of it all day long. Right. So let's just quickly hit the max towing capacities and the payload capacities for each of the three trucks. And we're comparing basically four by four crew cabs here. Yeah, most popular right. configuration. Right. Most popular configurations across the board. And for the Ford, it's 11,600 pounds for max towing. Ram, 10,190, so lower. And Silverado is right at the top at 11,700, so 100 pounds more than Ford. Yeah, that's very interesting. Yeah. I mean, that's that's good capacity. And you know what I've noticed with them, this of all the half tons squats the least with the trailer. Yeah, it handles the weight. Yes, it handles and the weight. It doesn't squat it. You know, these other ones you have to really crank on a weight just be an inch, which we use. You make them as tight as you can to get those other brands up. Speaking of the weight, how about the payload ratings? Once again, 4x4 crew caps. Ford is the highest at 2650 pounds. Mm -hmm. Then Chevy is at 2010 pounds. So right up near 2000 mark. And Ram is 1540. Wow, that's quite a, quite that's a, drop. a significant quite a difference. Drop. Yeah. yeah, and these are, once again, similarly configured 4x4 crew caps. So it's still doing pretty good. It does hunt, but I think we'll notice it more as we go a little higher up. Well, that's nice about this too is you're able to go wide open throttle. Yeah. With these bigger trucks pulling this kind of weight, you know, it's hard to, to slow them down. Now, if this had a 342, I don't think you would be able to do wide open throttle. You'd be going 100 miles an hour. So <laughs> part of that's the axle ratio and whether or not how much fuel mileage it gives you differences, you know, something you've got to learn. Now, the next point is interior features and basically overall features yeah. of the truck. General Motors recently redid all of the interiors on their trucks and large SUVs, and they've done it for the better. It is a much nicer place to stay. So, of course, uh, the price on this truck is almost $60,000 as tested. Oh, right? yeah. yeah this is the high country trip. That's true. The most luxurious uh, Silverado, basically, out there. Well, this is what your business owner buys. It's got a great center console, set up for an office. you got all the plugs in the world, all the places to put your electronics. But you know, I love the memory seats. I fit in this yeah. so well. I'm sorry to interrupt you. We're nearing the tunnel. All right. And I'm looking at the watch. It's your show. We're almost at eight minutes. And um, just about 60 miles per hour. 60 miles an hour. I'm wide open throttle. And we're now starting. So here's the first bank of lights. I-70 narrow lane. Yeah, no okay, where are the lights? Right. Here, and I just had to let up a little bit. Okay, so that eight minutes and seven seconds, what's the MPG? Four MPGs. Four MPGs. Sorry, I'm running the camera back here too. I wanted to capture as we entered the tunnel. Okay, so four MPGs, and it did it in a time that I, I believe is quite good. Yeah, eight, eight minutes is what we're shooting for, right? Yeah. It's staying at the speed limit. And yeah. I think you, you weren't wide open throttle the no, whole way. Not correct? the whole right. way, no. But for the most part, yeah, it had no problem with the hill. And actually, it was better than the last 6.2 we tested in terms of hunting gears. Well, there you have it, folks. Four miles per gallon on the Ike Gauntlet. Eight minutes, seven seconds. Eight, seven, wow. Yeah. 
Now, I mean, you got to admit, this is a very fuel efficient vehicle considering what it just did and with the amount of power it put out, right? Yeah, it did well. It did well. We're all freezing out here, but the, the, the truck did very well climbing that hill with 9,000 pounds. Like the EcoBoost 3.5 did it uh, with 3.3 MPGs. Yeah. So this was four. That's significantly different. Yeah, and I can pretty much guarantee that it never went down to four cylinders. That cylinder deactivation No, not stayed. a pill. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. With 9,000 pounds. Well, this is Good our roll. first truck leading us to the Gold Hitch Award for 2016. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's pretty exciting. cool. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Much more of this coming up. <laughs> <laughs> A lot more of this coming up, and hopefully in warmer conditions. Yes. For the fast lane truck, this is Andre. Mr. Truck, you're frozen. And Nathan Adlin. We'll see you next time. Tire. I gotta tell you, this truck is fancy, man. We've got heated and cooled seats. Oh, yeah. Or vented. We've got leather pretty much everywhere the eye can see. Hey, Ken, I'm gonna throw some numbers at you. 8.4 MPG, that's what the Toyota Tacoma got on our 100 mile test loop. 8.0 MPG, that's what the Toyota Tundra got on that same 100 mile test loop. And today, what do we have? Well, we have 2016 Silverado 1500 High Country with a 6.2 V8, eight speed automatic, and a 323 axle ratio, final drive. And we've got 5,600 pound horse trailer that will be towing just like the Tundra, just like the Tacoma, to find out if this is the most fuel efficient towing truck in the land. And that is coming up right now on the Fast Lane Truck. Cool.